welcome, welcome, welcome. We are looking live. So that's something. Looks good. Sweet. Um, how, how do I copy my URL so I can share it? This seems like an important thing that is really a thing people want to do, right? People care about that. Um, do some TG streaming wherein I open a box of random sleeves and then scan my puffer cube. Should be a great cure for insomnia. Boom. Hit it. All right, close that window. Great. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Sealed Fate. Oh no, what just happened? Okay, that's better. Um, where I kind of, I don't know, just mess around and do stuff. Uh, I got a new phone. So we're going to see if Delver Lens works on the new phone. I may or may not open a Brawl deck that I got. Uh, I actually got a couple of them. Uh, Corvold is the one that I'm really excited about. And I also picked up an Alela. One for my friend and one for me to either keep or I might try to unload it or something like that. Whoa, we have a viewer. Hey, welcome viewer. Uh, that's surprising. Didn't actually expect that. Um, feel free to say something in chat and I will probably respond. Um, this is my stream. It's super boring, but it legitimizes me doing nerdy things in my basement. So here we are. Really should have gotten water. I'm going to be thirsty. Uh, here's my Gabe Viewer of Spores EDH deck, and here are a bunch of tokens for it that I forgot to put away, so we're going to stick those in here. So what I should be doing is working on tweaking some EDH decks for Commander Fest that is next weekend, but uh, I'm not going to do that yet. But first, I'm going to start by opening some stuff. So the first thing I have is a package that I got in the mail. It's crinkly, as you can hear, and squishy. Um, I'm fairly certain I know what this is. These are, well, I'll just open it and you can see. This is not Magic the Gathering related at, at all. This is just sort of me getting the, let's open stuff juices. Oh, the person is gone. Well, whatever. Maybe sometime in the future, someone will watch this. So I guess I should keep talking. Um, or maybe aliens uh, will see it because it's being projected to the stars. If you wanted me to do magic stuff, I could, I'll do magic stuff. All right, but I'm going to just go ahead and open this. Because I'm going to open it anyway. Uh, uh. All right, let's see what we got. Cool, cool, cool. All right, um, this is an order from Threadless. They had a recent sale. Oh, I forgot they are doing Anvil shirts. So here's one of them. Anvil is not my favorite t-shirt brand. I have wanted this shirt for a decade, and I don't care how dumb that makes me. Um, this is not a pipe. It's a takeoff of the uh, the treachery of images by Magritte. And I think this is really clever and cool, and I am very excited to now own this shirt. Um, it's somewhat flabbergasting to me that this is not 100% center aligned. Does that look right to you? I mean, like, I guess I'll have to try it on, but, I mean, if I had to guess, right, like, that doesn't, it kind of looks like it's off. I'll have to wear it, because, you know, my body's not perfectly symmetric anyway, but um, that is a little disappointing that it doesn't really appear to be printed in the center. Maybe it doesn't look, yeah, maybe it's just folded weird. That could also be. Anyway, hopefully that's not. Anyway, uh, I can always return it. So that was one thing that I got. And another thing that I got is this. Uh, 
which is a Springfield Isotopes t-shirt from The Simpsons, and I'm kind of psyched about that. This does seem to be correctly center printed, so that is nice. Um, the other one being off, I'll have to actually check if that's true, but I'm pretty psyched about this. Um, this seems like it's probably about the right height. Sometimes these things people put, print them too low. But this looks like it's printed about the right height. And I can always wear it as an undershirt or I can just wear it as a regular t-shirt. So that's pretty cool. And it's like science, right? So who doesn't love some science? All right. Uh, that's the, the non-magic, the gathering content. Well, actually, no. I think the additional content that I have is also... The next thing I'm going to open is also not Magic the Gathering related. All right. Um, here's a box from Amazon that I'm going to open. And I'm going to see what's in it. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Got some interesting stuff here. All right, cool. All right, so this is the case that I got for my new phone. So I'll have to try that out, see if that works. Um, a couple of people recommended to me that the spy-in cases are pretty good. They're not quite as heavy duty as the OtterBox, which is what I was using, but that they're still pretty good. Uh, and then they had a bunch of pops on sale, which I bought because I have, I don't know, because I did. This is packed in here quite efficiently. So you've got a Squirtle. That's pretty tiny. Huh. I don't know if I feel like this was worth $4 or not. Kind of having some remorse. Maybe my money could have been spent on stuff that wasn't a waste. Uh, here's a Batman figure. Um, from him being a vampire, which is a little freaky and bloodthirsty, uh, from Red Rain. Mostly bought it because it's Batman, I like Batman a lot. And here is a Venomized Thanos, which I bought because it was cheap. Oh, this is a bobblehead? I should return that. I'm not a bobblehead fan. I should have read that closer. Um, so... I might get rid of this. If anybody wants it, let me know. And, oh man, the Groot one's a bobblehead too. I didn't realize that. The Groot one actually looks cool. I should not have bought these things. Well, what are you going to do? And, what is this? This is packed really cool. Here's actually like just a Batman in the vintage style. I like the Batman one. I don't know. Maybe I can sell or trade these to someone at a comic book store. This is actually packed really well. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of cool. So, these two I am not a fan of as they are bobbleheads. But, maybe I can get store credit or something from a comic book store. I do like the look of the Groot one. I think that's cool. They made it look the way that they did. The Thanos one looks kind of cool too. Interesting. Well, who knows? Ah. This is why you shouldn't really buy things on the internet that you don't need. Squirrel's not bad and Batman's not bad. So in hindsight, two out of five, I don't regret buying. is this thing to put on? Yeah, I am shocked that no one is watching this. Shocked. Alright. Installation. One, two, three, four. And it's got a kickstand, which I don't really care about. That's fine. Um, there's no screen protector, so I guess it doesn't really matter. The main thing is just... I guess the camera, yeah, all right, right over. All right, one, 
Let's see, one, two, three, four. Hey, just snaps in there. This is good. Um, having the phone naked before was stressing me out because I was used to having an OtterBox case on it. And um, hopefully, and I also like, continually accidentally tap the back of it the fingerprint reader and every time I do it brings down the, the overlay menu even if I'm using the phone so that was getting old so hopefully this is uh, enough of a bevel to protect it and I don't act actively mess it up or anything and uh, I like the fact that it gives it gives it a little more heft I guess there's a kickstand which I don't know exactly how that's supposed to help me do anything I guess that I can watch a movie on it and just sit up and just be like this. I don't know. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Here we are. All right. But all right. I like the I like the feel of this. I like the feel of this. This was a good purchase. This was only like fifteen bucks or something. So not bad. All right. Let's do some magic stuff, shall we? Oh, where is that? All right. Let me go grab it. All right, so this should be fun. I ordered from Troll and Toad uh, a bunch of sleeves during uh, Black Friday. They had a sale wherein you could get random sleeves for, I think it was like 80 cents a pop, which is a pretty good deal. And I ordered like about $15 worth, which was enough to get free shipping. And I don't know what they sent me, so we're going to find out. So this is kind of exciting. You get to find out with me. Uh, I guess there were two sets of sleeves, I think, that I ordered that were specifically because I was playing to sleeve up an EDH deck with them. But we'll, uh, and we'll see if the randos will work for it as well. I've previously done this, and I got a bunch of Naruto sleeves. So uh, we'll see what we get. All right. Drum roll, please. Whoa! What do we got here? All right, um, this is pretty crazy. All right. Uh, wow, oh my gosh. That was unexpected. So before they gave me a bunch of varieties of types, but for this, so I got these, which I think are Saskia. Because it was like super cheap to get these. And then I ordered some dragon shields. They're not the matte kind, but they were really cheap. I've never had dragon shields before, so I got those. And then it looks like everything else they gave me is the same magenta Ultra Pro. Man, I could sleeve a whole cube with this. Because each one of these is 50. 100, 200, 300, 400... 500 sleeves so all right well this is actually good i mean i can sleeve some edh decks with these um and i'll have some redundancy and the fact that their fuchsia is cool that's a cool color and i'm okay with that um this is not bad at all i hope these aren't terrible i wonder what kind of ultra pro sleeves these are i'm gonna have to check them out all right uh this is kind of exciting Hey, somebody's actually watching yeah so i bought a bunch of random sleeves from troll and toad these were these worked out to be like 80 cents a pop. Ooh, did I slice this when I opened it? That seems unlikely. Yeah, because it would have been, they weren't, well, we can go back and watch the video, but I don't think they were stored like this. All right, we're gonna open it, go ahead and open this one and take a look at the, the quality of these sleeves. All right. Hmm, all right, they, they seem okay. Um, I mean, these just seem like standard sleeves. They uh, are not matte, so that means that they're silky or whatever it is. So this is what something single sleeve looks like in them. All right, goes in fine. That looks fine. That's a nice clean sleeve. I'm very happy with uh, 80 cents for 50 of these. That's a that's a good deal. Art and Veil Tactician, and here's a. A Niv Mizzet and a. So, how do they work for double sleeving? These are KMC Ultra Fits. 
Ultrafit is not the not the right name, of whatever that is. Yeah, that did not work at all. It's definitely sticking off the top, but I'd rather it be a little bit too on the tight side than not at all. And I, I don't necessarily double sleeve all my EDH decks anyway, so that's probably fine. All right. Here's the first sliver. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Cool. Stick a stick a harmonize in there. That's like a good classic commander card. Yeah, they look good. Um, they are. I can't. You know, people always talk about like, oh, are these sleeves sleeves like sufficiently opaque or not? And uh, I can never tell. I I never see through them. But who knows? Neat. All right, that's not bad. That seems fine. This is fine. Uh, let's try these. Okay, is it, who is this? Actually, I'm not gonna open these. I'm just gonna hold on to these for right now because I'm just gonna open them and then they're gonna be a mess. So I don't want to do that. That's too much of a mess. And here are some dragon shields that are yellow. That are yellow. Let's see how these are. These were... Yikes. I don't remember how much these were. I can look at the receipts. But they were they were on the cheaper side. They look a little jacked up. I don't know how big a deal that is or how normal that is for these things. I mean, they're probably pretty old. Put some stuff in there. And they're very, very slick. Alright, there's a harmonize. These things kind of look funny together. They don't look bad. Alright. Huh. What else? What are other rando cards that I got floating around here? Here. Let's just grab some stuff. This is the Ultra Pros. Alright, how does this fit in terms of double sleeving? Um, still kind of had some difficulty there. I think I'll have to, I would have to use the token trick, which is when you, I don't know if this will work actually. I'm not, I've only ever used real tokens, but, uh, you put something in behind it. What is, is this even a, a token? I don't know. Yeah. So you'd put something in like this and kind of use this to get it in there. And kind of pinch the bottom. Pull that out. That looks decent. Looks decent. Huh. Are there markings on the back? That's weird. Is it my card? Yeah, these definitely seem... Oh, no! I know what it is. See, I was thinking other markings on the back, but it's that you can see the card underneath. Yeah, okay, I guess I see what people mean when they talk about them not being fully opaque. Like, if you look at this, if there is a double-faced card, you might be able to tell that it was. Because if... I, I don't know if it is coming up, but... If you, yeah, see, see right there. There's like a dot. It looks like like a watermark or something, almost on the sleeve. But that is a. Uh, that's the back of the magic card. Because you can you can see where they are. Interesting. Well, today I learned. Does this one have it? Yeah, this one has it a little bit too. They're not fully opaque. So good to know. 
All right, I guess I won't be using these for my cube or anything, but I think for screwing around UDH decks, it's probably fine. Well, I got a hundred of these. Hopefully there's a few extra in there and I'll sleeve something up with them. Cool. Uh oh, are you folding? Got a little lightning bolt there. All right. Neato. Well, that's fun. And these are definitely higher quality than what I had been sleeping my EDH decks in. So that's good. Oh man, they are slick. These feel kind of rubbery. They don't smell like anything. What to sleeve? All right. sleeves because there's only a hundred of them I guess I could count but really it should always come with like an extra five that would be awesome if that was like the rule but it's not and I mean they're businesses they gotta make money you know can't say I blame them it would just be nice just the little bon mot oh man these guys are uh, also supposed to go in my Dave deck Extra tokens. All right. All right. Put this over here for right now. Great. Now let's uh, scan some stuff, shall we? Um. Yeah, I'm pretty psyched. Got a new phone, and let's just start scanning my cube in earnest. So here's my cube. Um, it is stored in a carrying case like this. A friend of mine gave this to me because he is very awesome and didn't want it for his cube anymore. And it's perfectly set up for it. So you uh, undo the latches on the top. It's very, very cool open it and it's set up with dividers inside and I keep some dice in here and some tokens and just some random stuff in case it's needed so I think the first thing I want to do ooh, what is all this business um, oh yeah like impromptu dividers if I need them I guess white blue black red green and then lands 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 that are all foil. These are sleeved in KMC hypermats. And then these are uh, special lands, and these are artifacts, and these are multicolor, and these are apparently also multicolor. What? Why are there two multicolor sections? Well, that doesn't make sense. That, in fact, seems wrong. And these are the tokens. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? Uh, I think my plan is to, let's do a quick pass on sorting it to make sure everything's divvied up correctly. And then I'll scan each uh, section of it. So I'll go through and I'll scan all the white cards and then I'll scan all the blue cards, etc., etc. Um, very often times the, the colors get screwed up by archetype and so when I go to put it back. So we'll go ahead and try and do that. And once we get all that done, then we can uh, go through and check to make sure that um, everything seems fine. 
All right, we're just gonna do this, I think, one at a time. I think that makes sense. I can always go back and put stuff where it needs to be. So the plan here is to just do a very quick overview of all the cards. Just gonna look at them. Not just gonna try not to think about what should be taken in or put out right now. And just look at what we got. And if anything isn't actually like mono white, this is not where it goes. That's all I'm trying to do. Just confirm that. Most likely where we're going to see an issue is with some sort of activated ability. So Syndic of Tithes is maybe one that could go either way. All right. And, okay, I do have triplicate spirits in here. I wasn't positive about that. Seems like a fun card. Gust Walker, sort of not really fair. All right, Coalition Honor Guard is in there. Good. All right. All right. So those seem correct for the most part. So that's good. Go ahead and put those back. Gonna do the same thing for blue. What is going on with this sleeve? Ugh. One of these sleeves is, is nicked. All right. Uh, all right. Same thing with blue. Ghostly Flicker, Fairy Duelist, Aether Trade Winds, Man of War. Hey. Oh, good. Thrumming Bird. I do have one of those. I was worried that I didn't. That's good. Peel. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all of these. Oh, I apparently own a foil foil. That's cool. All right, so far all of these are checking out as being correctly in the right spots. Counts as blue. Um, what is it? Draw a card. That's a good card. Yeah, you're blue. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mold. Ah, that's a card. Mold Drifter. Yeah. All right. Uh, unsummon. I don't know how you feel about that art. checks out. Oh no. Everything is falling over on itself in this container. Uh, I should have thrown something in there to hold the volume of stuff up. Alright. What are you? Okay. there, this goes here, alright, putting in big chunks of blue cards, getting out black cards, Where do these white cards come from? You're supposed to go back in there. All right. Man, I spend like more time futzing around with my cube than I do actually playing it by like a considerable margin. Okay. 
You are maybe or maybe not counting as white. All right, so let's just go through some black cards here real quick. Anything that seems out of place. Um, hmm. oh, I like supernatural stamina. All right, I'm getting distracted. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool to see. That makes me happy. Uh, all right. Oh. Wait, uh, did you bend it? Nope, you're good, you're good. Uh, uh. Mm. uh. Hmm. 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 Pretty. All right. Gurmag, Obnixilis's Cruelty. All right, so I have some recent updates in this. So this isn't that out of date. Um. All right. And, oh, got another extort. I got to figure out if the extorts are going to count. How, how they're going to count. That's that's a question that is to be determined. All right. I'm gonna put the black cards here. Mm -hmm. Let's get out some red cards. Red cards, put these in to hold the spots. Alright. Uh huh. Do okay. You're gonna come out for sure. I think Blood Rush is gonna come out in it in replace of some adventure stuff. I think adventure is just stronger than Blood Rush. There's no real getting around it. Yeah, you're, yep, got it, all right. cards and theory craft my cube. I should have been counting these. <sighs> hmm. Man, do I like Twin Silk Spider. 
buy two of these? I feel like I might have. Uh, hmm. Alright, so Ivy Lane Denizen is in here, which is important because there are some combos that I did not realize. Oh, cartographer, beautifulest card ever. Presence of Gone for that combo. Now I'm just staring at cards. I'm not even talking. Uh, well. Alright. Checks out. <clears throat> I mean, it's already almost midnight. How realistic is it that I'm actually going to scan all of these cards? I mean, I guess it could go really, really quick, but that just seems super ambitious, man. Alright, these are my lambs. We're going to ignore those for the time being. i got a bunch more lambs to put in there. that noise was. Someone blocking me so that they never follow me by accident, probably. Alright. Uh, what is this? Alright. These should all be lands. This should be a pretty quick check. Artifacts, let's see. King of Tauntaun. Multicolored cards. Yeah, see, Bacilla guards, I put that in there as, uh, as that. So I think for consistency's sake, the other one should count that as well. All right? I will like absolutely pick cards to put into this queue based almost entirely 
Um, almost entirely off of the art, whether I think it's cool or not. All right. And anything else? Yeah, those are just tokens. All right. All right, what are, what are you guys up to? Uh, oh, are these the three color ones? Was I at some point under the impression that I was going to keep those separate? It's plus one, plus one, and has haste. First strike. I'm missing the blade cycle. Hmm. I might own those now, I don't really recall. All right, we'll leave you guys at it for now. All right, I'll come back to multi-colored in a bit. All right, let's jump back to white and we'll start scanning white. Seems like it's as good a place as any to start, right? All right. You cannot, you absolutely just cannot see it if it's there, huh? I guess here is the closest. Put it here. Scan it over there. Oh, well, the correct move here is actually this, I think. Move that and that over there. And then that just gives, yeah. So now we're a little more out of the the vulgarities of what what is that? I get out of here. Alright. What's this like gonna do? I don't know why it seems so weird when I'm in the lower left corner doesn't seem like that should matter, but here we are. All right, I'm gonna start up Delver Lens. See if I can't remember how to do it. Uh, what can, oh, all right. Uh, cool. Um, looks like I lost the stuff that I had before when it updated. All right, bolt the bird, okay. Put cards on blank paper, focus the camera, avoid glare, merge cards in the menu, tap to start. Okay, so all of these cards are foil. Right, so I'm gonna pause it for a second and come up here. So everything is foil, turn that on. Okay, to popper for oh, cube white. All right. Uh, get out of here. All right. Um, let's see if. It's 
Something just happened? I don't know what that noise was. That was weird. Alright. Um... Alright, so... We're rolling. Alright. Alright, so I think for maximum entertainment value, this is maybe the way to do it. I don't know. This seems pretty minimally entertaining, to be honest. I can use this thing to set this up. Like, I feel. Alright, so if that's just like a little bit off the ground, maybe more, it'll work. Let's try it. There's gotta be a way to. There's gotta be a way. What if I bend this kind of like this and set it up like this I mean it's super not stable I don't know if you guys can see this or not but I just got it sitting up like this alright so that's not even close to stable but if it works I don't really care alright let's try it's kind of glary to get my system down. There we go. All right. This is reasonably fast. I feel like this is slightly higher. Okay, so for some reason murder was in here. That seems like someone's trolling me. Or I screwed something up. So I'll just put that back over here. Wait, how did some of these things get in here? There's a dead bridge shaman in here too. Alright. What are you doing there? Getting moved to black is where you're going. Cool, I got like my little doubling thing going on. Alright, I must have like accidentally put cards in the wrong spot because I just found a bunch more black cards. I don't remember that, that being an issue before. So we're just going to put those back over there. Alright. This is kind of, all right, I'm getting my, all right, this is a good system. I am pleased with the pace at which I am able to do this. This is uh, considerably faster than uh, entering any of this stuff by hand. That is for sure. Do, do, do. I feel like I need music. Oh my gosh, I'm a scanning machine. Oops. Nope. That said it was an Opal Palace. That's wrong. Uh, delete. Sand Step Outcast. I should be reading these. 
So at least there's like something for people to interact with. All right, aviary mechanic, stonehorn dignitary, lone missionary, suppression bonds, sends enlistment, doom traveler. Do I have faith's feathers? I don't know. Ironclad slayer, Makandi griffin, celestial flare. Trusted Pegasus, saddest card ever. Court Street Denizen. Conclave Phalanx. Mistral Charger. Custody Squire. Ajani's Presence. Wingsteed Rider. Knights of Cliffhaven. Smite the Monstrous. Oppressive Rays. Core Hookmaster. Knight of the Pilgrim's Road, Sky Hunter Patrol, Gideon's Reproach, Observant El Sayed, Caught in the Brights, Inspired Charge, El God Inquisitor, Sensor Splicer, Spectral Gate Guards, Desperate Sensor Sentry, Glint Sleeve Artisan, Keening Apparition, Cloud Shift, Azorius Arrester, Attended Knight, Core Skyfisher, Custody Peacekeeper, Topin Freeblade, Test of Faith, Thraven Sentry, God's Willing, Suture Priest, Don Glare Invoker, Griffin Dreamfinder, Cliffside Lookout. All right, we're going to pause there. All right. All right, just take it off here. Now, we're going to look here. So that's 81 cards. Um... Uh, I should have been paying more attention when I scanned it, but I didn't see anything jump out as being wrong. Everything showing up as foil. Um, so I think we're I think we're good here. Okay. Um, so yay! All right. So I think what I want to do is, oh man, how does this work? Copy text to website and I want to import it. I forgot what I'm doing. Um, yeah, the only things that I care about are for this are um, I think it's quantity and scryfall ID and if it's a foil. And I think the separator for this is a comma. And it copied it to the clipboard. And now, you don't need to see this part, I'm going to log in to Architect. So I'm logging in on my phone. I think it remembers me. Cool. All right. So I'm going to switch over here for a second and do it here. 
So this is, uh, I'm an architect, it's me, and we're going to do a new deck, and we're going to call it deck format uh, I don't see cube is an option on here so we could do custom or popper we'll just say popper and create all right Text import. How did I do this before? Oh man, I totally don't remember. All right, I think I know how to do this. I don't, I really don't remember. So that's right, I'm getting confused because card collection, how you add to card collection looks different. Because here, there's an import function Right, and you set the columns here. So how we do it here is different. Well, maybe I should not be worried about this. Maybe I should be doing cube cobra. All right, add a new cube. Let's try this. Foil popper cube, create. How do I get stuff in here? I've never used Cube Tutor before. Mm, list. Add remove. Mass edits. Oh, import export. Okay. Um, oh. Upload file. Uh, cancel. All right. Accessible files are either text, plain text, with one card name per line, or CSV with exact format as our CSV export. Okay. Uh, well, okay, let's try this. Ardenvale Tactician. Just add. All right. Um, so it changes. That's not even actually in the cube. It's just a hard card to. Change the version. Yep. Status. Premium owned. I don't know what that means. Uh, all right. Uh, 
All right. Now if we export this. Download it as a CSV. Okay. Downloads. All right, we're going to see what that looks like. Can I turn on the terminal so you can see that? Yep. All right. What do we got going on here? Uh huh. Foil popper cube. Artemis tactician. Name. Creature. Oof. It's going to be hard to import. Okay. This format kind of sucks. It's kind of insane that there's not like a standard format. So export just card names. Maybe that'll work better. Yeah. Okay. So I just exported it as card names. Let's see how that looks. Uh, nope. It's just it. There's no notion of it being foil This is supremely frustrating. Okay. Well, all right, we'll start here. Come back to Architect Dex, my Dex. Foil Popper Cube. Text import. All right, so nope, quiet you. All right, coming back here, do this. Uh, copy text to website. I want quantity. All right, so. Turn everything off. All right. So it looks like the expected format here is going to be I feel like this is going to kill me because it's going to pick the wrong version for like everything. Let me okay. Let's all right. Let's just do their preset. Maybe there's a mass edit to just set everything. cards uh, and I can add it to a deck okay and I can add it to foil popper cube auto select categories oh Add 
to deck. Let's see what happens. Well, something happened. All right, uh, refresh it. Everything's in there. All right. All right, so I need to save it. I guess it is saved. All right. Um, Edit. Alright, let's mark white main lion as foil and see what happens. Oh. She's like killing my computer here. Is that even the version that I have? I'm not even positive it is. Yeah, Masters 25. Okay. Foiling. Foil. All right. Save that. Now if we go to edit. F. So... All right, I can just mass edit this to uh, to add an F in to everything. That's pretty easy. So as long as it marks it as imported, I can just do a find replace on that string and add a star F, and I'll be okay. All right, can I can I change the color identity of this? to category. Treat it as white. No, it doesn't let me do that. I mean, for purposes of my deck, for my, that's driving me nuts. Uh, wait, what? What's that one look like? Oh, look at that. Hmm, I'm running out of steam here, guys. I'm running out of steam. All right. 
export text format options card name I mean so that will get me into their format I don't know what premium mode means. I still don't. Foil. Yeah. Oh man, super annoying that they don't seem to to know foil or not. I mean, I guess I know it's foil. Like everything here is foil, but oh well. All right, so let's see what happens here. Edit. Copy. Paste. Upload. Okay, so none of that worked. Well, I can for sure get that from Delver Lens. Delver Lens seems like they're the only ones who really have their shit together. To be honest. Try that. So, well, actually, was that even one of the formats? Copy text to website. Is Cube Cobra on here? Crystal Commerce. Uh, no. Okay. Just don't see that on here. All right. So for their purposes, it only is doing. Man, this guy really needs to get their act together. It's really annoying. I wonder... Maybe I can get it into Cube Tutor. Let's see how the Cube Tutor import works. Is Cube Tutor working anymore? Does it exist? Let's find out. In. I'm in. All right. So this is the piece import.
Yeah, so it didn't, it's not. I'm not really seeing any benefit to this. I'm going to have to... I mean, I guess I don't need to worry about the foil status in this because I know this isn't meant to track my collection. It's really just about maintaining status of what's actually actively in my cube and making sure the cube is functional. No, you can't even see what I'm looking at right now. And I guess it's good for that. So it's really just more about getting the stuff in there. I guess I don't have to mark the foilness of it. It's just frustrating. That's handy. Wait a minute. See what that looks like. Can I get that from here? All right, let's see, maybe. All right, uh, if this is the input foil for format, can I do, can I do it? All right, let's see. All right, so separator is space. All right, you're not, you're not a preset. Okay, separator is space, so I gotta mark So I'm going to see if I can get this to work on here. That's what I'm doing. So it's got to be... Name. Oh, it is comma, comma delimited. All right. Name. CMC. Type which is it on here? 
No card type. There it is. Okay. Uh, color. Rarity. Tag. Toughness. Man, why would you import type? I mean, I guess you because you customized it. This is just so dumb. Ugh. I'm so frustrated. Like, who would... Ugh. All right. I don't... All right, well, I don't... This is so gonna drive me nuts. I was gonna say condition, whatever. Uh, set. And collector number. And we'll say if it's foiled. Great. All right, it was copied to the clipboard. And we're going to log in to Cube Cobra. Logging in. Oops. What? Yeah, you can't see this. Didn't work. Cool. Got my cube. How do I edit it? Export, upload file, oh, piece text. Man. to have saved it, create CSV file, it looks the same as that, yeah, download that, saved in the, file saved in the download directory, okay, come back over here, browse, files, uh, probably that, okay, upload, this is not good video. Yeah, that didn't work. All right, I'm done for tonight. Sorry, people. I got to call it. I, uh, this is too much for me. It's too much thinking. 
I'll get it. I'll get it figured out eventually. Uh, good night. Have a good one.